फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल लर्निंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डी सी चॉपर कम्यूटेशन टेक्निक्स नाउ लेट एस सी वॉट आर द कंटेंट्स विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस लेक्चर फर्स्ट वन इज डेफिनेशन ऑफ कम्यूटेशन सेकेंड वन इज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कम्यूटेशन टेक्निक्स यूज इन दैरिस्ट्राइज सर्किट थर्ड वन इज फोर्स कम्यूटेशन देन लास्ट वन इज कंडीशन फॉर सक्सेसफुल कम्यूटेशन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो डेट यू कैन गेट मोर अपडेटेड वीडियोज फ्रॉम हियर now we will see what is commutation commutation is the process of turning off conducting scr so turning of conducting scr is called as commutation depending on the nature of source that is whether it is ac or dc the commutation can be natural or force commutation that means if the input source is ac then the commutation is called as natural commutation and if the input source is dc then the commutation we use is called as force commutation in dc choppers always we use the dc source therefore only force commutation is used in the dc choppers next one is different types of commutation techniques the commutation techniques are categorized based on whether the source is ac or dc so if the source is ac signal then the commutation is a natural commutation and if the source is dc source then the commutation used is force commutation in the natural commutation when we use the ac input signal then during the negative half cycle of the ac input signal a reverse voltage will be applied across the conducting scr due to which the conducting scr goes into the off condition so since the scr is going into the off condition due to naturally occurring negative half cycle of the ac input signal this type of commutation is called as natural commutation and in the force commutation when the dc input source is used then we have to use a external commutation circuitry to forcefully commutate or turn off the conducting scr so this type of commutation is called as force commutation now this force commutation can again be divided into two types first one is current commutation and second one is voltage commutation now let us discuss about the force commutation in the force commutation we use a commutation circuitry to forcefully commutate the conducting scr so we can use this commutation components in the force commutation circuitry that is inductor capacitor or an auxiliary scr when the scr is operate on the pure dc input voltage their forward current cannot be reduced below the holding current naturally so the scrs are commutated forcefully by using additional commutation circuits in which we are using this type of commutation components this external commutation circuit will turn off the conducting scr by either current commutation or voltage commutation normally force commutation is used in the thyristorized inverter or chopper circuits now let us see what is voltage commutation first if the conducting scr is turned off by using raj reverse voltage across it then that type of commutation is called as voltage commutation and if the conducting scr is turned off by reducing the anode current below the holding current then that type of commutation is called as current commutation in the current commutation an externally produced reverse current is forced through the conducting scr to bring down its forward current below the holding current value in both of the techniques of commutation the commutation is initiated by getting a auxiliary scr that means an auxiliary scr is required in both this voltage commutation and current commutation to establish the commutation process next is conditions for successful commutation first one is forward current of scr must be reduced to zero second one is reverse voltage must be applied across the thyristor for duration more than the turn off time of the device and third one is critical rate of rise of voltage of the device should never be exceeded to avoid retriggering of the thyristor that is the dv by dt of the reapplied voltage should not be too large so hope you have understood this topic thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe my channel for more updates